Hey, it's Jay, and over the next few days, we're gonna be building a candy dispensing Rube Goldberg for Halloween. We're gonna be following those social distancing guidelines with style. <laughs> Here's our fully automated and voice activated candy dispenser and hand washing machine. But first, let me take you through the process of how we got here. For the first step, we're gonna have a pipe attached into the sump pump and we're going to pump water up and then this big 20 gallon tank is going to be our reservoir. Alright, there yeah, we go. Yeah, want it. Yeah, let's try this out. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay. All right, we've glued everything up. Round two, here we go. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Oh, no. We need caps for the end. We realized that water, when it pumps through here, it's gonna cycle through the entire thing. And I forgot to get plugs for the end right here, so water's just shooting out. Once we, once we do that, this whole thing will be really solid and we'll be able to get our water flow. So the next thing is, I kind of drew up this plan. We're gonna build a base that's gonna go right next to the fish tank. We're gonna have two bike wheels that are gonna be attached to PVC pipes. We're gonna have a chain that has cups attached. Water is gonna flow down into the cups. The cups are gonna dump down here into the fish tank. We're gonna have a ball come up this side. So it'll be this continuous cycle. So I'll just mark one and then I'll make the other one match. Adeline, are you excited for Halloween? Yeah. Ah! Oh, Dad! Not good. We're gonna try to hold this whole system together. And the big part now is it wants to roll one way or the other. So either we're gonna attach to the other apparatus or we'll we'll end up just uh, PVC gluing everything so it stays in place. Hey, good morning. Here we are on day two of construction and last night we decided to call it because it was getting buggy. These kept sliding back and forth because I hadn't glued them yet, so it's actually really dangerous. The first step I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna glue these pipes in place so that they are more sturdy for the bike wheels. I just made a quick run to Home Depot to get caps for the bottom part of this and get a couple other supplies. I also got this awesome three quarters to half inch piece so I can just screw it in the top of the pump. It sits right in there. I wanna be able to get this joint apart, so I'm using a plumbing wrap that will make the joint pretty strong. So as I wrap this around, I kind of stretch it a little bit, and it sticks to itself pretty well. Orange. Yeah, an orange one, please. Orange one. Yep. What are we doing here, Jay? Do you wanna explain? Well, <laughs> we're trying to attach the cups to the chain and what's gonna happen is water is gonna pour down and fill the cups on this side. That'll create a conveyor belt with this chain for the other side. <laughs> what did you say? I know. Oh no. All right, so this is our first trial of the whole setup. We finally attached cups with the zip ties. 
and we're gonna see how it works. The only issue we're having right now is the cups seem to want to rotate around, so not awesome yet. But let's see if it works. Here we are day three, and yesterday we had some challenges. Uh, when the chain was spinning, the tires were coming off, so we tightened up the chain a little bit uh, by putting plastic bags in the PVC so the tires won't move around as much, and it seems to be flowing much better. The other thing that we noticed is that the pipe is putting out, it's putting out so much volume of water, um, and the potential energy is so great that it's just collecting too much velocity causing the cups to move too quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually chop this off. We're gonna try to drop water in right at the end, which will make this spin just a little bit slower and maybe a little bit more under control. No. All right, that was way too much volume, so we're gonna try to reduce it by actually plugging some holes in the PVC that'll lead right back into the tank. change the angle of this a little bit to see if we can hit it more straight on so that it won't knock the chain off. So let's try it one more time. Oh. All right, so the chain has been uh, just a little bit frustrating. In engineering, when you design something and it doesn't work, it's really about trial and error. So sometimes you have to scrap ideas and start anew. So my wife actually had a good idea. She just suggested we just scrap the chain. Her idea, which I think is really cool, is instead of connecting the two wheels, what we'll do is we're gonna make this lower part a wash station. So as water comes in, it'll dump in this pan and we'll have a little stream of water flowing down to the bucket over there where kids can actually wash their hands in a little bucket with some soap. And then the wheel up here, we've already designed an apparatus, we just have to build it, but it's gonna basically dump candy in here and then the candy will dump out here and then go down to shoot to the kids. So everything will still be automated. We'll still have everything functioning in some sort of way, but we've just kind of simplified the entire design. Yeah. Now it's pretty now it's pretty good flow. So what we're doing is we're building two stands here for the shoot. Uh, so the first stand, uh, I'm just kind of making a prototype. I haven't actually measured anything, but what I have done is I've just used symmetry. So the length of this one, I've made the length of this one. The length of this one is the length of this one, which is the length of this one, this one. So what I'm doing is I just line up the next cut and I make sure that they're all the same length. So I'm just lining it up with the text right on the PVC pipe. You can see there's a six there. So I'm gonna cut to the right side of the six. I have six pieces, they're all equal length. So then you just basically piece them in together. We got our two bases. We're just about done with the pipes and putting the last few parts on. So, this is gonna be for the upper part and then just one little connector to hold it together. We're gonna adjust it, put down. And right now it's gonna slide right off, but should we try it out? Sure. Maybe it is too tall. Oh, okay. 
And this is working well. That's a lot of water. And he's rinsing his hands off. <laughs> now comes the fun part. We actually get to start to decorate a little bit. Just like a vending machine in order to distribute the candy, um, I've created this really tight coil around a tiger tail. We're gonna attach it to a motor and it's just gonna spin. The hope is that candy will go into these grooves here and as it spins, it'll just drop out the one side that we have open in the uh, candy bin. We were struggling to get the design down and we were running out of time, so we had to bring in the big guns. Pop Pop, retired engineer. He not only helped us refine the design, but he helped us make it more and more consistent. How do we get this to work? The first thing is we had to put the um, axis of the screw drive slightly downward in the tub instead of slightly upward. Yeah. The pieces wanted to fall back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got gravity helping us slightly downhill. That's number one. And number two, we had to create a coil spring, a drive spring, where the spacing is about equal to the width or length of each candy bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was, so we basically opened up the spring. The second thing is we needed to captivate the spring so it doesn't fly around in space. And so we have a, a, a tunnel of sorts open at the top. That one I, call, got I call it a half pipe. Yes. And the spring lays in the half pipe quite, quite comfortably and it pushes the candy pieces along. Okay, Adeline, we need to make some mud so that we can dip our mummy gauze into it and we'll make dirty mummy rags. Mix it up. Oh yeah. Let's add some more water. We just put a, a reverse channel on the top here, just kind of a lid that keeps the spring down. And you can see this one is nicely floating through. If we had a lot more time, we'd create a hopper to just feed candy in, but um, we are limited. Halloween's two days away. Alexa, turn on the trick-or-treat machine. Thank <laughs> you.